So How about for you, Jacqueline, with Gabrielle? What different kinds of opportunities or different paths have you sought out for her or she's come to you saying, I want to do differently than yeah. what's being provided in the um, classroom? Definitely. So Gabrielle definitely sounds like your 16-year-old. <laughs> She's more social. Mm -hmm. um, so she definitely enjoys um, a classroom setting, being with okay. her peers. Um, mm -hmm. So she tested in kindergarten, like I said. And I, you know, as a, <laughs> a first time, I was like, oh, okay, you know, like whatever <laughs> you say. This right. sounds great. Yeah. Um, and so they, you know, they set up the plan for her, and but you were in a different school system. We were in time. Florida, yeah. And yeah. so um, they took her out every um, day for an hour um, with all the other. Eventually, by the end of probably the middle of first grade, there was a good sized class um, that she maybe fifteen kids at that point. Okay. Um, so they would meet together, and a lot of what they did definitely was hands-on, um, mm -hmm. hands-on work, in mm -hmm. which is she definitely thrives in. Okay. Um, so Can you give an example? Um, okay. Like projects and um, doing, um, she did this one project on the body, and then they did a different one. It w a lot of it was science-related, mm -hmm. um, which she loves, and something else they did with butterflies and you know just really helped her to thrive and, and thoroughly enjoyed that um, and then coming to Athens I actually didn't look into the program here until we had gotten here and um, you know I gave them her testing and they didn't accept what she had had done in Florida so she had to retest but then there wasn't a program here for her. Mm -hmm. So her actually her second grade um, in Athens was really hard because she was used to having that environment where she was able to leave and have things um, hands on and have that time with with students more, you know, in her kind of capacity in that way. Yeah. Um, so her year her second year here was was really hard because she was getting tons of worksheets and you know eventually mm -hmm. through the year we saw that they were getting half done and and mm -hmm. she, um, she wasn't enjoying it and so at that point I was kind of like oh this <laughs> this isn't working out right um, and so I I was lucky enough that her advocate her um, her gifted teacher in Florida was wonderful and she had actually reached out to me um, at one point after we had moved here just to check on Gabrielle oh, to see how, nice. how yeah to see how she was doing and you know if they had a program and so I kind of explained no um, so she kind of basically like held my hand like okay well let's let's talk about things that you could do mm -hmm. at home with her and then also that you could talk to her teacher or you know and so um, cause I had no idea, you know, I was just kind of like, oh, every school does this. Yeah. Um, ev every school is going to have this available for my child, not knowing that every district is different yeah. and at what age they would, um, do stuff. Mm. So what were some of the suggestions that the teacher um, gave? And I knowing Gabrielle, you know, as her mom, I knew yeah. worksheets were a no. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah. so I just tried to let her have a lot of like, time outside where she could play and have that um, that kind of play in her life mm -hmm. um, and to give her you know books she's such a great book reader um, mm -hmm. give her books and things in that way that she could read and kind of take them in and games to play and like this little like squishy body that she could play with and put back together and um, so just a different modality of mm -hmm. learning basically mm -hmm. for her um, and we went to her teacher and you know communication wasn't getting through and so we kind of just were trying to help her at home at that point okay. um, and, and a lot of it does depend on the teacher too you know how their learning s or teaching style is right. um, and then third grade it, it uh, got so much better because that teacher was more hands-on did do a lot more projects and, and things like that and so okay. Um, 
her third and fourth grade um, has been much better because of the different learning mm -hmm. that she's So what had. about for the coming year, the fifth grade year? So what currently where we have move to they actually will take them out a, a whole day and they will bus them to a school and so all the gifted kids will meet together um, one day a week and so okay. she will be so doing that. sounds that. similar to mm -hmm. yeah. what happens Hot. offers beginning in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so yeah. she will be doing that um, and I think the main thing is is, is also you know tailored to your kids personality not all gifted kids are are going mm -hmm. to be um, like I'm myself more you know I like my downtime I like to be by myself whereas she's very mm -hmm. social she mm -hmm. likes to be with people she likes to play she likes to be out she doesn't necessarily like to be at home um, mm -hmm. and so her personality even being as a gifted kid you know is she does like that social and she tends to learn a lot better in a group environment than mm -hmm. on her own like your mm -hmm. two oldest um, and so to, to kind of tailor it and to I learn about your kid's personality. Um, mm -hmm. the, the year that we were having the struggles, you know, I had to keep reiterating to her teacher, like, this is not her learning style. Like, she, although you're, you're saying that she's getting um, accelerated learning, it's not the accelerated worksheet she needs. She okay, needs right. a different modality of learning. Yes. You know, like, she needs to have a project or something that she can work on and complete and, mm -hmm. um, not necessarily doing a worksheet every day, all day long. Right. Yeah, we've had that conversation that because a child's gifted doesn't mean they need more worksheets yes. or more, right? That yes. They, they need some type of acceleration, likely in a very different way. Yeah, mm -hmm. and a lot I do, you know, in my research, once we moved here and it was kind <coughs> of a frustrated year that, um, that I was learning more about the gifted is that you know, for some kids, it's great for them to yeah. skip a year, um, but it is based on personality and um, and just how you feel like they would do socially too, right. um, and just learning so much about yeah. your kid and how their learning style mm -hmm. is, and being School. their advocate right. as a parent, yeah. and and letting you know just be like, okay, this. I don't feel like this is working out right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> and right. Yeah. this is how her learning style is and what can we do to help that? Yeah. Yeah.